Hi, welcome back. So this is going to be a dictation section. You know how I say a letter sound and you write the letter that makes the sound? So we're going to do that right now. We're going to just do a quick review. So I'm going to dictate letter sounds, but you're going to write the letter that makes that sound. And it's not going to be in any particular order, just to see if you can recap the things we've done, okay? So first, I'm going to start with the letter that makes the ah sound. Write the letter that makes the ah sound. Great. So this is how you write it. You start at the top, go around, go back up, come straight down. A makes the let the sound ah. All right. Write the letter that makes the s sound. S sound. What letter says s? Yes. It's the letter S. So this is how we write an S. You start from the top, go around, go in and out. That's it. That's S. So we write in small letters, right? All right. Write the letter that makes the eh sound. Which letter says eh? Which letter says eh? Right. E says eh. So you write E. This is how we write an E. All right. Around and down. All right, what letter says as in fan? F says as in fan. So we start at the top, we go back, come straight down, across, and that is F. What letter makes the mmm sound as in man? Mmm as in man. Yes, you're right. M makes the mmm sound. So you're going to write M. And this is how we write M. All right. Let's see. What letter makes the R sound? As in rat or rabbit. R. The letter R. You're right. So I write the letter R. Makes the R sound. All right. What letter makes the K sound? Remember, two letters make the K sound, right? So you can write the letter K for me or the letter C and I'm going to accept both. All right, so let's write. The letter K makes the K sound. You start at the top, come down, straight down. Start in the middle, slant to meet the straight line and slant back down. And that's a K. And then another letter that makes the K sound is the C. So we go around and down and we make a curve. And that's a C, makes the K sound. Let's see, what letter makes the W sound as in wind? Wind, W, W. Yes, you're right. W makes the W sound. So this is how we write our W, right? It looks like two Vs put together in a W. All right, what letter makes the K, -k sound? K -s sound. Yes, X. X makes the K sound. So this is why I write an S. Two diagonal lines crossing each other. That's the X. All right, what well, letter makes the T, -t sound as in top? T, as in take. T, yes, the letter T. So you go from the top straight down and across in the middle. That's a T. Which letter makes the p sound as in pan? P as in pan. P as in pan. Yes, it's the p sound. P letter makes the p sound. So let's go. We write a p like that. P. All right. What letter makes the b b sound as in boy? B as in boy. It's the letter b. So here, this is how we write a B. Straight down, go back up, around and down. All right. What letter makes the D sound as in dog? D as in dog is the D, the letter D. So here, this is how we write a D. Remember, these two seem to confuse you a little bit. And so we said the B has the stomach facing that side 
and the D has the stomach facing that side. So this is a B. See where the stomach is going? If you do this, the straight, and then the stomach is this way. So this is B. And the D has the stomach going the other way. So D. So this way, a D. And that's a D. And then the P, of course, just is the easiest for you, right? P has the stem going all the way down. All right, that brings us to the end of our dictation for now. Feel free to pause this video, go over all your letter sounds, uh, go over all your letter sounds, look for the letters and what sounds they make, and try to write them down. So here we have A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H, E, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, K, R, S, T, A, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, feel free, pause it, and come back as needed. Welcome back. So let's review a few word families that we already know. Because after we review these word families, we're going to read some books. Some more books. Just what you love. I love the way you love to read books. All right, so this word family is an. When we say word family, they are words that, um, they are families of words that come at the end of words. So for example, we're going to look at this word family, an. So if we have a word that ends with an, like d, an, it becomes what? Dan. You put it together. D, an, dan. Let's take um, some more letters to help us with this word family. Read it with me. So I have b, an. I put together, I have, yes, you're right, ban. All right. So let's go a bit quickly. K. And good. And fan. Good. G and can. Good. H and han. Good. So these don't have to be real words. Just want to be sure you can see and blink. All right. J and Chan. O and Lan. M and Man. N and man p and pan qu and remember we always say q u goes together right qu and quan R and ran S and san T and tan V and van W and when y and yan z and zan good job good job give yourselves a pat on the back so let's review a few from our wet wheel so this is and right and says fan good M and man. K and can. The P 
pictures give you clues, but let's try and read the words themselves. P and pan. V and van. And back to f and fan. All right. Our next word family is going to be, let's see if you can get it. This is what? I, you're right. And P says P. We put together, we have ip. All right, so words that end with ip. Give me a few words that end with ip. We remember that means we're looking for rhyming words. Words that rhyme with ip. That'll be what? Sip, tip, lip, nip. All right, so now let's try and make some words. B, ip. Great, bip. Good, go with me. D, ip. Yes, dip. Ip. Fip. Good. H. Ip. Hip. Oh, ip. Lip. Good job. So we said when you see a word that you do not know, you look at the ending to see if you can identify the ending of the word. That's one strategy for reading. You look at the ending and then you blend the beginning sound to it and then you make a word. All right, let's look at our word wheel. So we're going to look at some words that end with ip. So this will say what? Hip. Oh, this, I love this. So this is a bit different, right? It has two letters. This is a blend. So let's see, drip, drip. See, water is dripping. Lip. Dip. Rip. Hip. Drip. All right, let's look at our last word family for today. It's a word you know. This word says what? Yes, you're right. It says in. So let's make a few words that end with in. Good. Ben. Great. Finn. Good job. Good. Lynn. Yes. Pin. Ten, you're right. W, N, win. Good. You win, you win, you win. All right. Let's look at one of our wet wheels that ends with N. So we have fin, pin, win. Hmm, I love this. Take the sp, sp, in, spin. Ch. We know C A says ch, in, chin. Fin. 
All right, so let's look at two books, two quick books, easy books that have the wet families that we just looked at. Let's look at the, what does it say? You're right, tip, because we have to ip. We just did ip, remember, ip. So to ip, tip. So we know ip, we blend it with it, we have tip. So when you see a word you do not know, you check to see if you know the ending sounds. If they are familiar, that will help you read the word. All right, so the title of this book is The Tip, written by Sharon Cohn. Front of the book, back of the book, spine. All right, let's go. Let's dig in. The Tip. All right, so you read this. Great. Dip. Dip. D. Ip. D. Ip. Dip. Or D. Ip. Dip. You know this word already. I. Mm hmm. C. A. Dip. Good job. So a dip in the road is like having a little pothole, right? A dip. So that's a dip. I see a dip. Tip. Tip. I tip. So to tip is to tip over as if you're about to fall. You have not yet hit the ground, but you've tipped over. Of course, usually when you tip over, you might hit the ground. But this is a tip. So there's a dip. He sees the dip, but enters the dip, and now he's tipping over. I tip. Yes, rip. So that's a rip in the shirt. I see a rip. What do you think happened? Looking at the bicycle. So he tipped over, and he ripped his shirt. Hip. You know what a hip is, right? Right at the joint right there. I see my hip. I wonder what's wrong with his hip now. Oh, I need a sip. So he's sipping some water. So our glossary words are dip, mm -hmm. hip, good, read it, rip, sip. Tip. Let's try again. So these words rhyme because they all end with the word family ip. So dip, hip, rip, sip, tip all end with ip. Right? They all end with ip. So they rhyme. They have the same ending sound. These are our sight words. I, C, a, my, and need. Thank you very much for reading this book. You can pause and read over it. But let's move to the next one if you're ready. All right, so here we move to the next. This we haven't done, but if you see e and g, it says what? Egg. All right, so this book says big pig. Also written by Sharon Cohn, front of the book, back of the book, spine. Right? We're ready to read. Big pig. Read with me, okay? Good. Big pig. Pig. He is a pig. Big. He is big. So this arrow is showing us that this is the big pig. He is big. What do you think this is? Yeah, little. Dig. He can dig.
wig. He has a wig. <laughs> I think that's mad on his head, like a wig, right? He dug the mad on top of his head and that's now like a wig on his head. He has a mad wig, right? He can jig. That's right. Let's look at our glossary words. Read for me. Awesome. Let's read it together again. Big, dig, jig, pig, wig. Nice. Sight words. He is a can has. Good job reading with me. Um, just before you go, let's look at a few sight words that we already know and let's just go over them, okay? What does it say? Yes, is. Go, good. The. With. Good, play. Can. A. C. Awesome. On. I. Oh, this might be so small. C A T as well. Cat. This is a question mark. You already know that. This is a period. So these are punctuations that we've learned so far, right? You use a question mark at the end of a sentence if you're asking a question. You use a period if it's just a statement, right? All right. So that will be for it for now. Pause or go over it and then I'll bring you some more videos. Stay blessed. Bye for now.